View. What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. My name is Jason. Today we're going to talk about this little accessory on my Harley Davidson 2020 Lowrider S. Before I had the 2020 Lowrider S, I did have a 2016 Sportster, an Iron 883. I had a Sissy Bar, which was my main source of carrying luggage. Right now, I can't seem to find a Sissy Bar that I like for the Lowrider S. I know that I don't want to be lugging around a backpack to carry things all the time, so as soon as I picked up this bike, I also picked up the Torque Motorcycle Mini Saddlebags. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about you know what I put in it, what is possible to put in it, what I like about it, the price. Let me pull up my phone. I'm going to get in the shade here. They are called the Torque Mini Saddlebags and they cost $265, but you can get some coupon codes for them. Let's talk about the dimensions of the bag itself. Height, depth is 7 inches it says. Length is... 11.5 width is 5 inches so there you go and it says there is about a half inch of giving room in these dimensions let's take a look inside so on the top has a little pocket in the top nice very shallow but you can put maybe a wallet set of keys uh, i usually keep my insurance card and, and all that stuff in there this is the main compartment over here pretty big I have a bottle of water in here right now I have some camera stuff I have a mask just in case I need it but pretty roomy and what I really like about these bags is that it has this PV PVC lining on the on the walls except for the side walls here it does have them on this back side and this front side so it does have some rigidity it's not gonna flop around so I really like that looking a little bit further has another pocket in here kind of like a hidden pocket so actually this is where I'm keeping my registration on the website it said that you can fit a sweatshirt but I don't know if that's true because on this other side I have my torque motorcycle vest and it's a pretty thin lightweight vest and this it's pretty packed once you once you get it in there I don't know if you can fit a thick sweatshirt in here maybe a medium to thin sweat sweatshirt you can definitely fit like a flannel in here if you roll it up real tight but this is my torque motorcycle canvas vest and it's really not that thick or anything but once you roll it up it's not too bad I haven't tested out a sweatshirt yet it's a little too warm to be wearing sweatshirts right now it can fit my vest in here which is kind of nice at night if it gets a little bit chilly I can throw that on usually I'll keep some camera stuff in there like uh, maybe my 360 camera here or my Fuji camera that I usually carry around with me to take pictures. Sometimes I'll have tools if I need them. The other thing that you might want to take note is that it is not waterproof. If you ride in the rain a lot or if it rains a lot in your area, these might not be the best option for you just because it doesn't come with a rain cover or anything like that. So if you're looking at these bags, you're also probably considering the Thrash and Supply Essential Bags, which I believe they're about the same size, pretty much the same setup. To me, they seem very identical. And I think the Thrash and Supply Bags are a little over 200 this is 269 it is a slightly more expensive I think they're pretty much identical I can't 100% claim that but to me when I looked at them online they look pretty much the same the only differences that I could see is that uh, the torque motorcycle company I kind of like the design of the skulls it just all came down to personal preference the one thing that I did really like about the thrash and supply version is that in the interior liner it's a different color I believe it's orange where the, as the torque motorcycle are all black so when it's dark you know, I'm kind of fumbling around in here, especially if all my other stuff is black. So you're like, you're like constantly just scrambling around. Or whereas the Thrash and Supply, I believe the liner is orange. So you can really kind of see different things that you have in the bag. That's nice. Not a big deal for me. So another thing that I saw is the earlier versions had a little strap that uh, went under the seat bolt. 
they don't have that anymore. Now what they supply you with is these little Velcro straps. So you can uh, tie them to the strut of your bike. But let's take a look. I'll pull this out. The only complaint that I might have is that these are really short. I've seen some reviews on the website. Some people had a lot of trouble tying these to the strut of the bike because how short they are. It doesn't flap around too much even when I don't use the straps. Let's take my seat off. The other thing that I was worried about is will this uh, sort of scratch up the, the fender? We'll see together. All right, it's left a little bit of marks, but it's not too bad. I don't see any scratches. Do you? It has this Velcro, so you can adjust the length, tailor it to your liking, just like that. This works ideally with a saddleman step-up seat or a seat that kind of goes over the, the fender. And then on the underside, I don't know if you can see it, it has this like rubbery material, so it'll grip to the fender. I was worried about this Velcro side maybe scratching the fender. It seems to be fine. So yeah, I'll set it up just like that. So I haven't seen too many reviews on these bags. I've only seen like one or two. One's from Marble Kid, who I think is uh, sponsored by Torque. This is a little off. And I know that he loves their products. And usually his reviews are pretty legit. He gives you honest feedback. But just in case, thought I'd throw mine out there too. To me, they seem to be super high quality. Uh, the zippers are top notch. I'm not doing a whole lot of traveling right now, so these bags are perfect for, you know, the small everyday carry items, your wallet, your keys, a bottle of water, some GoPro stuff if you, if you record, an extra t-shirt. Those bags are not waterproof, so my best advice would be maybe keep like a little Ziploc bag inside. And if it rains, you can just put your essential items into the little Ziploc bag. That's what I kind of do if I know that there's a chance of rain. I haven't ridden around in the rain a lot to see how soaked it gets, but I, I don't really go out riding when it rains. I think they're high quality. Are they worth $260, $270? I don't know. It's, it's hard to say because the only other bag out there is the Thrasher Supply one. I will say I do need slightly bigger saddlebags if I do want to go for longer trips. So this is not a long-term solution. This is just for like around town kind of a thing. Things that I've carried inside that saddlebag was able to put a, a pretty large bottle of vodka inside the bag. No problem. The biggest thing that I carry is like the vest, the motorcycle vest. I put sandwiches inside that bag, like subs. This guy, he's trying to get inside the bag. Yo, what is this? Oh, I don't know if this was intentional, but you see these zippers. They are large enough where if you wanted to just have a little lock, you could do that. There's enough space in here if you wanted to get keep a lock, a small little lock. That's kind of a nice little security feature. But yeah, overall, I don't know if it's coming through in the camera or not, but the quality is like really solid, very nicely made, great stitching. Overall, I definitely recommend this product. I don't see any points of failure. There are some downsides, like the whole interior is black, so it's kind of hard to see. Also, these little straps, if they were a little bit longer, they might work. So that is my overall assessment of the Torque motorcycle bags. Overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It does the job, it carries some of the items that I need. Surprisingly, it does have enough space in the back for anything that you would need on a, like a day ride. So for me, gets a thumbs up. I'll leave a link in case you guys want to check them out. Thanks for tuning into my video and until next time, I'll see you guys later.